Cleaning tennis courts can be done with a pressure washer with very specific tools that will help you do it a lot faster and more effectively. Uh, some of the things that you can do to clean your tennis court, uh, one of the tools that we suggest is a surface cleaner. Obviously, surface cleaners can be purchased in different sizes, and the difference between the larger diameter surface cleaners is you'll clean a larger space more effectively, more quickly. One thing, though, that you'll find with larger surface cleaners is that you'll be using more pressure and more flow to drive those attachments. And sometimes with tennis courts, you have to be careful because it might be softer clay surfaces or there might be painted surfaces. And because those surfaces are more delicate, you don't want to ruin the surface by using too aggressive of an attachment. And so with that in mind, we usually suggest using a smaller surface cleaner, maybe 18 to 20 inches or smaller if, if need be, so that your pressure washer that you're using doesn't have so much force on that surface. Another good tool to use for lower pressure applications are, is a water broom. Now the difference between a surface cleaner and a water broom when cleaning a, a tennis court is that a water broom is more intended for, as the name suggests, more of a sweeping action. So lighter debris, uh, such as leaves and some light caked on uh, residue that sometimes those leaves and, and whatnot leave behind can be swept away but it's not really intended for aggressive cleaning. So for more aggressive cleaning, use a surface cleaner. Less aggressive if the court is pretty much clean, but you just want to clean it out with a light uh, agitation, then use a water broom. And then for tighter spots, those corners and, and, and more difficult to reach areas, uh, we suggest using a 25 or 40 degree spray nozzle. The reason is that that spray angle is not so aggressive a 0 and a 15 degree will be very aggressive on the surface, so using a wider angle will definitely be something that you'd want to do. Some best practices in cleaning is to clean from the center of the court outwards so that as you're cleaning, you're coming from the center and moving out the radius to the outer edges of the court, and that way you don't have a pooling of that, that dirt and grime that you're cleaning off in the center. Uh, using a surface cleaner, obviously, for larger areas would be a good way to go. And then for spot cleaning, use your spray nozzle. It's always a good idea to use a ball valve when switching between attachments so that you can leave your pressure washer on and switch between accessories very quickly and easily. Uh, for painted surfaces, we really suggest no more than 2,000 PSI or less. Again, the reason being is that if you use too great of an amount of pressure, those painted surfaces can be, can be harmed and then you'll have a, a a, a basically a, a tennis court that doesn't have the lines or the areas painted like you would like them to be. Um, and then we suggest using cold water or, and possibly producing chemical. If you have any areas that might have some grime or mildew, uh, you might want to use a chemical that has a mildew site product. We do sell products like that on our website. And so it has an added agent to kind of eradicate that, that type of stuff and to get those hard stains off. But cold water is all you need. Hot water would only be for grease and oil and that type of thing, which generally you don't find on a tennis court surface. And of course, if you have any questions about any of these attachments or need advice on, on other things with regards to cleaning your tennis court, please feel free to give us a call. We're more than happy to help.